Donald Trump recently made a telling joke. Some people actually thought he was half serious when he said he briefly considered picking his daughter Ivanka for vice president. She's often referred to as his secret weapon. Her siblings say she is her father's favorite. And tonight she sits down with ABC's Lara Spencer for our series, Being Trump. This is a big moment. Are you nervous? I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm excited. She's been called her father's secret weapon, one of his most trusted advisors. Now, Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka is poised to take the spotlight, introducing him Thursday night at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. Has dad given you any input on what he'd like you to say, or is he leaving it up to you? He's totally left it up to me. I wish he'd give me input. Right. But he, I, I think he wants it to come from my heart. He says, don't worry, you'll do a great job. Don't worry. It was just over a year ago that you announced your father's presidential bid. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today a man who I have loved and respected. What has this year been like for you? It's almost impossible to describe, to meet so many people, to hear their enthusiasm for his candidacy. Ivanka has never been shy about her love and admiration for her father and family. The fact is that I'm absolutely you know, proud to be a Trump. And I'm, you know, like proud of my family name and I'm proud of everything they've done and ever accomplished. This rare glimpse into her early life captured in Born Rich, a 2003 documentary about the children of the country's wealthiest families. We are on the 68th floor. Not a bad view to wake up to. <laughs> she grew up here inside Trump Tower. And even as a teen, she was well aware of her father's legacy. The second oldest of the five Trump kids, Ivanka is no stranger to the spotlight. From being a model to starting her own jewelry and clothing and accessory line. You're setting the tone that it is just about money. To her noteworthy guest appearances on The Apprentice, she's helping usher her father into a new era of American politics. We will make America great again. Your father relies on you a great deal, the brothers, your father. You are such a tight unit, but none of you have political experience. And here you are on the national stage, front and center, one of his key advisors. I have strong opinions. I articulate those opinions. When asked, he raised my brothers to be the same. Your brothers and you were given the opportunity to talk to all of the vice presidential finalists, if you will. What were you looking for, for the person who stood by your dad's side? We wanted to ensure that personalities would be complementary, that track record was well suited to the task at hand. The next vice president of the United States, Governor Mike Pence. Did you and your brothers all agree? It was my father's decision, so. But you weighed in. We did weigh in. We did weigh in, um, but ultimately it, it was his decision. Ivanka's support for her father seems unwavering, even when he is at his most outspoken. You've called women you don't like fat pigs? Only Rosie several. O'Donnell. <laughs> Have you given him advice on how to change the perception that some women have about him? Well, I think the perception is a flawed one. People talk and talk about gender equality, but do they actually live it? My father has. He believes in equality amongst the genders, economically, politically, socially. My father has empowered women, including me, his whole life. He posted a tweet criticizing Hillary Clinton and he used a star of David. And you are Jewish, you've converted. Can you understand why that ruffled feathers for the Jewish community? Well, he clearly did not think that was a star of David. So I, I think that it should have been taken at face value. That was clearly not the intention. My father's track record of supporting and advocating for Jewish people and for Israel is unimpeachable for a very long time, whether it being the Grand Marshal of the Israel Day Parade, to the support that he's offered my husband and myself and our family as a young Jewish couple. I know the person and I know his intent and, and you know, I think that was really rather ridiculous. I love the old days, you know what Hillary Clinton has an ad out. Like have you seen that? I have seen that, yes. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? As a parent, if your children were to see that ad, 
if they were listening to those things, what would you say? to your children. I wouldn't have my children listening to those ads. The negative ads, especially those, um, and almost all of them are a complete manipulation of his words and packaged for maximum impact. Despite what anyone may say, including the opposition, I know the man, and so do my children. But her father's controversial positions have made him a possible target for more than just political enemies. This young man allegedly had been targeting Trump for some time. You also had a man try to rush the stage at an Ohio rally. Do you worry about his safety? We live in scary times. I worry about the safety of my father, but I worry about the safety of every American, including my children and myself, my family. What is the one thing that you want us to hear in this historic moment about your father? I don't know that people appreciate his tremendous empathy and his warmth, but they should. Our country needs a president who's able to dream big. And we will make America great again. And my father will be able to do that in a very big and a very real way. What role do you see yourself playing in a Trump White House? Right now, I take things day by day. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Can you envision a life in Washington? I, you know, I have to, I have to see. And, you know, right now, obviously, my, my focus is on being a good mother to my children. For Nightline, I'm Lara Spencer in New York.